Michael Finley has named his backroom team for the year and uh, he's gone in with former Kilkenny teammate Michael Kavanagh of St. Lactans. Um, off, ex Offaly hurler David Kenny, one of the best I would have said in the last 15 years that Offaly have had. And uh, poor Tumna man uh, Johnny Kelly, who's of course over Burris Lee at the moment, going into the, into the Tipperary quarter finals. What do you make of the backroom team? Um, he's brought in lads from different backgrounds, and yeah. Mm. I mean, Kavanagh was with uh, Mead as a coach for two years with uh, Martin Comerford. Um, probably not that he's only starting out but he's kind of gaining experience he being there as a coach Johnny Kelly has massive experience Johnny mm. Kelly is obviously you know, former Galway 21 former Roscommon manager Boris Lee as you say knows the awfully scene managed Coolary to win a county title in 2015 knows to be honest with you he'll know literally most scenes yeah. and having been with Roscommon as well he'll know a lot of the ring cup teams that they're going to be playing as well brings massive experience I think it's important that there are two outside kind of voices as well neutral voices so that now you have a manager that's not necessarily ingrained and awfully you have a coach and you have Johnny Kelly so it's just going to be straight down the line mm. it's not going to there's not going to be any favouritism or anything like that it's not going to be favourites towards clubs or any particular players or anything like that you'd imagine everyone's going to get a, a great shot at David Kenny uh, still playing with Belmont teaches in St Brendan's Community School in Borough as well would have seen a good few of the players come through would probably have coached a good few of them very well respected lovely fella great full back teak tough full back just bad injuries unfortunately would probably still be playing awfully to this day only for bad knee injuries but um, yeah it's a, fairly, it's a fairly strong backroom team and obviously that's without S&C and other lads coming mm. on board I think Mick kind of said he might be doing a bit of that himself as well Strong names there which suggests that he's going to be confident enough to delegate responsibility to these lads because I think no county manager now can try and be all things to all men no, you, can't, you can't be no you have to be it's kind of getting more towards being that CEO kind of type yeah. figure now Mick obviously has a lot of experience from his own playing days and from his lecture in, uh, in Satanta and Turles as well so he will want to do bits and pieces and he said he would be kind of hands on with certain things yeah. but I think and he was even chatting someone about it uh, I was actually chatting Keen O'Neill about it and he kind of just said that in his first year in Kildare he got a bit too sucked into the coaching side of things and wanting to be mm. the coach and wanting to be the manager then realised he had to pull the reins back as well so Mick is probably aware of that especially having worked with Keen last year so I'd imagine he'll do a bit and keep his hand in at it but he won't do too much. Yeah, because I, I even heard Larry Corbett telling me before for an article about Liam Sheedy that in 20, 2008 when he came in, he got Keane O'Neill involved, Michael Ryan involved, Eamon O'Shea involved, all lads who can bring a huge amount in their own right and all who went on to become yeah, inter-county yeah, managers. Yeah. So, you know, he's gone for big names here and obviously Johnny Kelly stands out. A um, bit of an awkward one. Well, like he, I think he has managed a couple of teams at a time before, so I'm not sure what that it's, means for Boris Lee. He's, he's, he's usually with, with mm. a couple of teams. He's with, in fact, to the best of my knowledge, he's with, he's with either Sarsfield, I think he's with Sarsfield <coughs> in Galway this year. He was definitely with them last year, yeah. with, being with Boris Lee as well. When he was at Kuleri, he's he was definitely brought Boris well. Lee on. And like, you know yourself, any time uh, a game or two or a season ends in disappointing fashion, like for example, 2017, losing the county final fairly comprehensively to Turles for a finish, you know, people tend to come in hard. And then losing the North final recently with Boris Lee against Kiladang, and I mean, it doesn't take into account that the week before, Firstly, had to play double extra time That's and right. a couple of her yeah, yeah, yeah. young lads had to play minor the day before both the semi-final and the final. So there can be extenuating. It's all forgotten about. It's all forgotten about oh, like it's this just, year if they, if, they, if they win two more games. It's all about did you serve up an L or a W for yeah, the team. Yeah, yeah. So, um, But all in all, you seem fairly happy. Uh, yeah, pretty happy. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see the, with Mick's um, uh, contacts as well, who else would be the... The other branches, mm. maybe of the with the S and C, with the I don't know, is he going to bring in a psychologist or something like that? But it'll just be interesting. You, you need his contacts. By God, you um, need <laughs> we shouldn't do now. We shouldn't do next year now, to be honest. But it'd be interesting to see. Um, there is pressure on him straight away. People will expect them to win two A league, which to me is anything but a foregone conclusion. And I just saw that the groups were out actually for the ring. And uh, if I was still playing a bit with Wicklow, I'd be in an awkward spot because they're playing Wicklow. Wicklow is the gr two groups of four, and they're in with Wicklow, and they're actually in with Sligo as well. I, ca I can't remember the four teams. I presume you, that wouldn't stop you from playing against them. It'd just feel a little bit awkward. No, if I, if I was still playing, yeah, of course it would. Mm. You'd be up for interview. <laughs> You'd be up for interview a bit that weekend. Uh. Right, well, that's it. Let us know what you think of uh, Michael Fenley's backroom team.